Welcome to another episode of Answering Your Questions with Sega. Hey, baby. So, in today's video, I wanted to answer a question that I received about the papaya enzymes that I recommend. So, let me show you what I'm talking about, and then I'm going to answer the question. And if you need a link, they're linked in all of my videos. The cheapest price is on Amazon. I love these. I do not leave home without them. You can go back through my videos and see. I talk about them in the lives. They are phenomenal. So the question was, when do you use the digestive enzyme? And this is a really good question because there are a couple of different scenarios and I want to cover those so I can give you all of the best options. So first and foremost, this person wanted to know, am I supposed to take them with every meal? And the answer is no. The caveat here is if you are just starting out in your GLP-1 journey and you are struggling, okay? If you are having challenges with sulfur burps, you're having challenges with digestive issues, acid reflux, all the things, in that instance, I would say, yes, do the digestive enzymes with each meal, right? Because it's going to help you. If you are not somebody who has just started out on a GLP-1 and maybe you just overate or you ate something heavy and now it feels like you've got a brick sitting in your stomach and it just you just feel yucky for hours, that is a great time to take it. If you know that you are going to be going somewhere, right, where food is going to be prepared in a way that is not what you are accustomed to. And my biggest example of this is going out to eat somewhere fancy, going out, you know, for um, like Thanksgiving where you're going to a family member's house and they cook with a lot of butter and maybe you're like me and you don't use butter to cook, right? If there's something like that, that's also a really great time to take a digestive enzyme. Now, when it comes to taking the digestive enzymes, it takes a little while for them to kick in. So if you know you're gonna be eating something heavy, you can eat a couple of them before your meal and then a couple of them after the meal. And then if you're still feeling yucky afterwards, say an hour or two later, you can take some more, right? You can't really overdose on these. Um, anything that your body doesn't use, right, just becomes waste. So the key is don't leave home without it. If you're not sure about how something is being cooked, right, if it's high in fat, high in carb, um, you know, if it's fried, right, all of these things can be triggers to somebody who is on a GLP-1. These are situations where a digestive enzyme can help you. So take them with you. I keep them in every single purse that I have so that I don't leave home without them. And experiment a little bit and see what works best for you. Now, I know that from a cost perspective, even though this one is very affordable, People are concerned and they're like, oh my gosh, if I have to take multiple of these chews, you know, for every single meal, like I'm, I can't, this is just going to be pricey. You don't have to do that. For example, I've been on my GLP-1 journey now for two years and some change, and I take them when I go out to eat, if I'm going to somebody's house and I'm not sure how something's being cooked, if I'm eating something fried, if I'm eating fast food, right? I use them strategically because I have gone through that experimental phase and I know, you know what? If I go to the movies and I eat this buttery popcorn, it's probably gonna make me feel yucky. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the digestive enzymes. And that just comes with experience. So just, Allow yourself kind of like a testing experimental phase. See when it works best for you. Please keep in mind that you need to set a realistic expectation, right? It's not going to immediately make you feel better if you're taking it after a meal. It takes a little bit of time to kick in. And 
see how it can best work for you. And then once you get that kind of figured out, for example, I have challenges with red sauce. So if we're going Olive Garden, I know, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these and I'm gonna take them afterwards, right? You can figure it out. You can also play around with the dosing. For some things, I just take two. For other things, I take four or five or even six. So it's important to have that kind of experimental phase so you can see how it best works for you. I hope this helps. And remember, everything is linked in the description box below.